controversial plan by the Fish and Wildlife Service to save the spotted owl is raising eyebrows. The federal agency has announced a plan to save the endangered owl by killing nearly half a million other owls. Fox 12 investigative reporter Ezra Kaplan has been following the story for over a year and brings us this report. Good morning, Ezra. Good morning. You know, the spotted owl has a story place in the history of the Pacific Northwest. It was at the center of the timber wars when environmentalists fought the logging industry to save old growth forests and protect spotted, uh, spotted owl habitat. Now there's a new threat to the species and the stewards of nature are taking a very different approach to conservation. We're in an emergency situation now with the spotted owl. Their, de their, their decline is so drastic that their uh, probability of extinction is very high at this point. Joe Liebezeit leads the bird conservation program at the Bird Alliance of Oregon. The spotted owl is a you know relatively large owl. It's um, native to the Pacific Northwest, and um, they, with a lot of the logging that took place, they precipitously declined because they're really dependent on closed canopy forests with a complex structure and also really big old growth mature trees. But there's a new bird in town causing problems. It's called the barred owl and it's not from around these parts. So the barred owl is uh, um, native to the east coast of the United States and, and their range has expanded. Um, they've been able to take advantage of um, habitat alterations in the Midwest. Things of like people planting rows of trees to, for windbreaks. It's created a bridge for a lot of those spotted owls to move over and to come out to the west coast. The competition between the two is fierce. The spotted owl is picky. It needs old growth forest, lots of space, and a particular diet. Barred owls, on the other hand, well, they are a lot less fussy. Just ask Robin Brown, a biologist with the Fish and Wildlife Service. So it sounds like the spotted owl is kind of a picky eater, whereas the barred owl Eat just about anything. Yes, the barred owl will eat just about anything is the best way to show. And, and that gives them the ability to pack into areas. So an area that, is, that a spotted owl would require to get enough food to survive, so a territory for a spotted owl, could hold as many as four pairs of barred owls. In short, the barred owls are pushing the spotted owls out from the little bit of space they have left for them to inhabit. And since the spotted owl is on the endangered species list, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is required by law to do everything they can to protect them. So we have a window to act. That window is, is closing. So um, if we want to continue to have both spotted owls and barred owls on the landscape for the future, we need to act now. Kessina Lee is the state supervisor for Oregon's U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. She says that for both species to survive, some barred owls have to be removed. The plan adopted by the Fish and Wildlife Service will allow for up to 15,600 barred owls to be killed each year for the next 30 years, a maximum of almost half a million birds. And while that number is huge, it would be less than one half of 1% of the global population. We don't come to this decision lightly. None of us become wildlife biologists expecting that lethal removals will be part of the work you do. That's not why we come to this work. We come to it because we care about the species, because we want to conserve the species and the ecosystems. Brown, who is in charge of the barred owl removal strategy, stresses that this does not mean that it's open season on the birds. There is no hunting season on barred owls. The strategy has never included in any of its you know, forms, has never included a hunting season or a bounty on barred owls. No one can remove barred owls unless they, are, they have a permit under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. Still, the tool of choice for certified removal experts will be a shotgun. One of the worries that I have about um, killing barred owls is that we are essentially, uh, will have dirty hands in this prospect. Jay Odenbaugh is a philosophy professor at Lewis and Clark College. He wrote an opinion piece for the New York Times about the plan to kill barred owls. There's a, a lot of thought philosophers have given to the distinction between killing something and letting it die, between taking the life of something and essentially letting nature take its course. And one thing that makes this issue so complicated is that whatever we do, in a sense, um, 
we are implicated. It was human behavior that brought the barred owls to the Pacific Northwest, and he questions whether this human intervention is the right choice. One of the, the you know, principles you might think here matters is do no harm. Mm. We've already done harm. And now the question is, should we pursue a lesser evil? It's a conundrum that those in charge of the plan acknowledge, but they also have a duty under the Endangered Species Act to act. We know it can be controversial and difficult for folks. We also know that it can really work and it can help us maintain that biodiversity that we know is so important. The spotted owl has in some ways become a gauge for the health of a forest, for an ecosystem. Losing them would on some level be existential. But if we don't start, if we don't do something now to preserve spotted owls, we will lose them. They will become extinct. A battle to save a species, challenging the ideas of conservation and facing death head on. While the plan for removal is moving ahead, animal conservation groups aren't giving up the fight to stop it. There are currently two challenges working their way through federal court opposing the Fish and Wildlife Department's plan. Reporting in studio, Ezra Kaplan, Fox 12 Oregon. All right, Ezra.